29 actors of the 80s and their shocking look in 2024. Welcome to our channel. Get ready for a trip down memory lane as we unveil the shocking transformations of 29 iconic 1980s actors in 2024. Curious about how your favorite stars have changed over the years? From heartthrobs to legendary performers, their new looks will surprise you. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for this nostalgic and eye-opening journey. Helen Hunt Helen Hunt is an American actress, director, and screenwriter known for her versatile performances across film, television, and theater. She was born on June 15, 1963, in Culver City, California, USA. Hunt rose to prominence with her role as Jamie Buckman in the sitcom Mad About You, which earned her multiple awards, including four Primetime Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award. Her portrayal of the charming and relatable Jamie Buckman endeared her to audiences and solidified her status as a talented and beloved actress. Helen Hunt's career spans over four decades, during which she has appeared in numerous acclaimed films such as As Good As It Gets, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress, and Twister. Her performances have consistently showcased her ability to portray a wide range of characters with depth and nuance. In addition to her acting career, Hunt has also ventured into directing and screenwriting, demonstrating her talent behind the camera with projects like the film Then She Found Me and episodes of various television series. As of 2024, Helen Hunt is 61 years old and continues to captivate audiences with her remarkable performances and contributions to the entertainment industry. Her enduring legacy is marked by her dedication to her craft, her ability to continually evolve as an artist, and her impact on both screen and stage. Helen remains an influential figure in Hollywood inspiring both her peers and new generations of actors with her exceptional talent and unwavering passion for storytelling. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Lisa Welchel Lisa Welchel, born on May 29, 1963 in Littlefield, Texas, USA, is a multifaceted American actress, singer, and author. She rose to fame with her role as Blair Warner in the television series The Facts of Life, which aired from 1979 to 1988. Her portrayal of Blair, the wealthy and often snobbish student, garnered her multiple award nominations and cemented her status as a beloved teen idol of the 1980s. Welchel's ability to infuse her character with both charm and complexity made her a standout figure in the show. In addition to her successful acting career, Lisa Welchel has explored other creative avenues. She has released several Christian music albums, showcasing her talent as a singer and her deep spiritual beliefs. Her music has resonated with many, adding another layer to her artistic contributions. Furthermore, Welchel is a prolific author, having penned numerous books on topics such as motherhood, faith, and personal growth. Her writings offer valuable insights and guidance, touching the lives of readers seeking inspiration and wisdom. By 2024, Lisa Welchel has reached the age of 61, maintaining her influence and presence across multiple creative fields. Her journey has been marked by a dedication to her craft and a passion for making a positive impact, whether through her performances, music, or written works. Lisa's enduring legacy is characterized by her versatility and her ability to connect with audiences on various levels, leaving a lasting impression in the hearts of many. Linda Lavin Linda Lavin, born on October 15, 1937, in Portland, Maine, USA, is a distinguished American actress and singer with a career spanning several decades. She gained widespread recognition for her role as the title character in the sitcom Alice, which aired from 1976 to 1985. Lavin's portrayal of the hardworking and resilient Alice Hyatt earned her two Golden Globe Awards and a Primetime Emmy Award nomination, solidifying her place in television history. In addition to her television success, Lavin has showcased her versatility on Broadway. 
She has earned Tony Award nominations for her performances in Last of the Red Hot Lovers and The Tale of the Allergist's Wife. Her talent and adaptability have allowed her to excel in a wide range of roles, from comedic to dramatic, making her a respected figure in the theater community. Her contributions to both stage and screen have been marked by a dedication to her craft and an unwavering commitment to excellence. At 86 years old, Linda Lavin remains an active and influential presence in the entertainment world. Her enduring legacy is characterized by her ability to captivate audiences with compelling performances and her lasting impact on both television and theater. Lavin continues to be celebrated for her remarkable achievements and her contribution to the arts, inspiring new generations of performers with her extraordinary career. Felicia Rashad Felicia Rashad, born on June 19, 1948, in Houston, Texas, USA, is a renowned actress, singer, and stage director. She achieved widespread fame for her portrayal of Claire Huxtable, the matriarch in the groundbreaking sitcom The Cosby Show, which aired from 1984 to 1992. Rashad's performance, marked by grace and intelligence, earned her two primetime Emmy Award nominations and made her a beloved figure in American television. Beyond her television acclaim, Rashad has made significant contributions to theater. She won a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play for her role in the Broadway revival of A Raisin in the Sun. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters has garnered her critical acclaim and numerous accolades throughout her career. Rashad's stage work is a testament to her profound talent and dedication to the performing arts. Now at 75 years old, Felicia Rashad continues to be a formidable force in the entertainment industry. Her enduring influence extends beyond her performances as she inspires and mentors emerging talent. Rashad's legacy is built on her exceptional ability to embody complex characters and her unwavering commitment to the arts, making her a respected and admired figure in both theater and television. Linda Blair Linda Blair, born on January 22, 1959, in St. Louis, Missouri, USA, is an acclaimed American actress and animal rights activist. She catapulted to fame with her unforgettable role as Regan McNeil in the horror film The Exorcist, 1973. Blair's chilling portrayal of a possessed young girl earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress and an Academy Award nomination firmly establishing her as a significant figure in the horror genre. Throughout her career, Blair has continued to display her versatility as an actress, appearing in numerous films and television shows. Notable projects include Born Innocent, Hell Knight, and Repossessed. Despite facing typecasting due to her iconic role in The Exorcist, Blair successfully navigated her career, demonstrating her ability to tackle a variety of roles across different genres. Her dedication to her craft and her resilience in the industry have garnered her respect and admiration. At 65 years old, Linda Blair is not only recognized for her contributions to film, but also for her passionate advocacy for animal rights. She has devoted significant time and resources to animal welfare, founding the Linda Blair World Heart Foundation, which focuses on rescuing and rehabilitating animals in need. Blair's commitment to activism, alongside her enduring impact on the horror genre, underscores her multifaceted legacy. Jennifer Beals Jennifer Beals, born on December 19, 1963, in Chicago, Illinois, USA, is a celebrated American actress and former model. She rose to international fame with her breakthrough role as Alex Owens in the 1983 film Flashdance. Beals' performance as a steelworker by day and aspiring dancer by night earned her a Golden Globe nomination and made her an enduring pop culture icon particularly noted for her memorable dance sequences in the film. Following the success of Flashdance, Beals demonstrated her versatility by taking on a wide array of roles in both film and television. She has appeared in critically acclaimed projects such as Devil in a Blue Dress, The L Word, and The Book of Eli. 
Her ability to seamlessly transition between genres and characters has solidified her reputation as a talented and dynamic actress. In addition to her acting career, Beals is an advocate for LGBTQ rights and women's empowerment, using her platform to promote social justice causes. As of 2024, Jennifer Beals is 60 years old and continues to inspire audiences with her talent and activism. Her enduring influence in Hollywood, coupled with her commitment to making a positive impact off-screen, highlights her as a powerful and multifaceted figure in the entertainment industry. Beale's legacy is marked by her contributions to film and television, as well as her dedication to championing important social issues. Joanna Kearns Joanna Kearns, born on February 12, 1953, in San Francisco, California, USA, is a versatile American actress and director. She is best known for her role as Maggie Seaver on the popular sitcom Growing Pains, which aired from 1985 to 1992. Her portrayal of the loving and supportive mother in the Seaver family resonated with audiences and made her a household name, earning her widespread acclaim and multiple award nominations. Beyond her success on Growing Pains, Kearns has enjoyed a diverse career in both television and film. She has appeared in numerous TV shows and movies, demonstrating her range as an actress. In addition to her acting achievements, Kearns has also made a name for herself as a director, helming episodes of well-known television series such as ER, Grey's Anatomy, and This Is Us. Her transition from acting to directing showcases her talent and dedication to the craft of storytelling. At 71 years old, Joanna Kearns continues to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to both acting and directing have left a lasting impact, inspiring many within the industry. Kearns' enduring legacy is defined by her commitment to excellence, her ability to evolve creatively, and her influence as a role model for aspiring actors and directors. Marcia Cross Marcia Cross, born on March 25, 1962, in Marlboro, Massachusetts, USA, is an esteemed American actress celebrated for her compelling performances on television. She gained widespread recognition and critical acclaim for her role as Brie Van de Camp on the hit television series Desperate Housewives, which aired from 2004 to 2012. Cross's portrayal of the meticulous and perfectionist Brie earned her multiple award nominations and solidified her status as a talented actress capable of bringing complex characters to life. In addition to her iconic role on Desperate Housewives, Cross has had a diverse career in television. She has appeared in various TV shows and movies, including significant roles in Melrose Place and Everwood. Her ability to embody a wide range of characters with depth and nuance has made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Cross's performances are consistently marked by her skill and dedication, earning her praise from both critics and audiences alike. Now 61 years old, Marsha Cross remains an influential presence in Hollywood. Her enduring impact on television, characterized by her memorable roles and impressive acting range, continues to inspire both her peers and fans. Cross's legacy is defined by her exceptional talent, her contributions to the craft of acting, and her ability to captivate audiences with her powerful performances. Molly Ringwald Molly Ringwald, born on February 18, 1968, in Roseville, California, USA, is an iconic American actress who became a defining figure of the 1980s teen movie genre. She achieved widespread fame for her roles in John Hughes's classic films Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, and Pretty in Pink. Ringwald's portrayals of relatable and complex teenage characters made her a beloved figure among audiences and cemented her status as a teen icon of the era. Throughout her career, Ringwald has showcased her versatility by taking on a variety of roles in film, television, and theater. Beyond her work in the 80s, she has appeared in projects like The Stand, Riverdale, and numerous independent films. 
In addition to acting, Ringwald is also an accomplished writer, having authored books and essays that reflect on her experiences in Hollywood and beyond. Her literary work has been praised for its insight and honesty. At 56 years old, Molly Ringwald continues to make significant contributions to the entertainment industry. Her legacy is marked by her early roles that defined a generation and her continued dedication to her craft in diverse mediums. Ringwald's impact on popular culture remains strong, and she continues to inspire new generations with her talent and resilience. Demi Moore Demi Moore, born on November 11, 1962, in Roswell, New Mexico, USA, is a renowned American actress and producer whose career spans over four decades. She first gained attention with her role in the soap opera General Hospital and solidified her status as a leading actress with films like St. Elmo's Fire, Ghost, and A Few Good Men. Moore's performance in Ghost earned her a Golden Globe nomination and made her one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood during the 1990s. In addition to her acting career, Moore has taken on roles as a producer and activist. She produced and starred in several films, including G.I. Jane and Indecent Proposal. Her willingness to take on challenging and diverse roles has demonstrated her versatility and dedication to her craft. Beyond the screen, Moore is known for her philanthropic efforts, particularly in advocating for children's rights and combating human trafficking through her work with various charitable organizations. At 62 years old, Demi Moore continues to be a powerful presence in the entertainment industry. Her enduring influence is reflected in her impressive body of work and her commitment to using her platform for positive change. Moore's legacy is defined by her groundbreaking roles, her contributions as a producer, and her unwavering commitment to advocacy and humanitarian efforts. Congratulations on completing 1-3 of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment 1, otherwise comment 0. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Winona Ryder Winona Ryder, born on October 29, 1971, in Winona, Minnesota, USA, is an acclaimed American actress known for her diverse roles in film and television. She first gained recognition with her role in the cult classic Beetlejuice, 1988, and continued to build her reputation with standout performances in Heathers, Edward Scissorhands, and Reality Bites. Ryder's ability to portray both quirky and complex characters made her a beloved figure in Hollywood during the late 1980s and 1990s. Ryder's career has been marked by her versatility and depth as an actress. She received critical acclaim and two Academy Award nominations for her roles in The Age of Innocence and Little Women. In recent years, she has experienced a resurgence in popularity with her role as Joyce Byers in the hit Netflix series Stranger Things. This role has introduced her to a new generation of fans and demonstrated her enduring talent. At 53 years old, Winona Ryder remains a significant force in the entertainment industry. Her body of work reflects her ability to adapt and thrive in various genres, from dark comedies to period dramas to science fiction. Ryder's legacy is characterized by her distinctive performances and her ongoing contribution to film and television, cementing her status as a versatile and respected actress. Meg Ryan Meg Ryan, born on November 19, 1961, in Fairfield, Connecticut, USA, is a celebrated American actress and producer renowned for her roles in romantic comedies. She became a household name in the late 1980s and 1990s with memorable performances in films such as When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail. Ryan's ability to bring charm and warmth to her characters made her the quintessential romantic comedy lead of her time. In addition to her success in romantic comedies, Ryan has explored a variety of genres throughout her career. She has starred in dramatic roles in films like Courage Under Fire and Proof of Life, 
showcasing her range as an actress. Furthermore, Ryan has ventured into directing and producing with her directorial debut in the film Ithaca, 2015. Her work behind the camera highlights her multifaceted talent and her dedication to storytelling. At 62 years old, Meg Ryan continues to influence the entertainment industry with her extensive filmography and contributions as a director and producer. Her legacy is defined by her iconic roles in beloved films and her ability to connect with audiences through relatable and heartfelt performances. Ryan remains an enduring figure in Hollywood, celebrated for her contributions to both the romantic comedy genre and the broader cinematic landscape. Ali Sheedy Ali Sheedy, born on June 13, 1962, in New York City, New York, USA, is an American actress and author who gained fame in the 1980s as part of the Brat Pack, a group of young actors known for their roles in coming-of-age films. She is best known for her performances in The Breakfast Club and St. Elmo's Fire, where she portrayed complex and memorable teenage characters that resonated with audiences. Her role in The Breakfast Club, in particular, as the introverted Alison Reynolds, became iconic and cemented her status as a significant figure in 1980s cinema. Beyond her early successes, Sheedy has continued to demonstrate her versatility as an actress in both film and television. She starred in movies such as Short Circuit and received critical acclaim for her role in high art, which showcased her ability to tackle more mature and challenging material. Sheedy has also written several books, including a novel illustrating her creative talents extend beyond acting. At 62 years old, Ali Sheedy remains active in the arts, participating in various film and television projects while also focusing on her writing. Her legacy is marked by her contributions to iconic 1980s films and her continued dedication to her craft. Sheedy's impact on the industry is evident through her memorable performances and her ability to adapt and evolve as an artist over the years. Sigourney Weaver Sigourney Weaver, born on October 8, 1949, in New York City, New York, USA, is a celebrated American actress renowned for her powerful performances in both science fiction and drama. She rose to international fame with her role as Ellen Ripley in the Alien franchise, starting with Alien in 1979. Her portrayal of the strong and resilient Ripley earned her critical acclaim and established her as a pioneering female action hero in a genre traditionally dominated by men. Weaver's career spans a wide array of genres, showcasing her remarkable versatility. She has received multiple Academy Award nominations for her roles in Aliens, Gorillas in the Mist, and Working Girl. Her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has made her one of Hollywood's most respected actresses. Beyond the Alien series, she has starred in notable films such as Ghostbusters, Avatar, and The Ice Storm, further solidifying her legacy. At 74 years old, Sigourney Weaver continues to be a formidable presence in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to cinema are vast, and her influence extends beyond her iconic roles. Weaver's dedication to her craft and her ability to inspire audiences with her performances have left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her enduring legacy is characterized by her trailblazing roles, her commitment to diverse and challenging characters, and her impact as a pioneering figure in Hollywood. Jack Klugman Jack Klugman, born on April 27, 1922, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, was an esteemed American actor, known for his distinctive voice and memorable roles on television and in film. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Oscar Madison, the messy and lovable sports writer, in the television series The Odd Couple, which aired from 1970 to 1975. Klugman's chemistry with co-star Tony Randall made the show a classic, and his performance earned him two Primetime Emmy Awards. 
Beyond the Odd Couple, Klugman achieved further acclaim with his role as Dr. Quincy in the medical drama Quincy M.E., which ran from 1976 to 1983. His portrayal of the dedicated medical examiner who solves crimes with forensic science brought him critical praise and solidified his status as a television icon. Klugman's career also included notable performances on Broadway, such as his Tony Award-winning role in the musical Gypsy. Jack Klugman passed away on December 24, 2012, at the age of 90, leaving behind a legacy of remarkable performances and contributions to the entertainment industry. His work in television and theater continues to be celebrated, and his characters remain beloved by audiences. Klugman's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring warmth and humanity to his roles have left an enduring impact on both the small screen and the stage. Tim Allen Tim Allen, born on June 13, 1953, in Denver, Colorado, USA, is a renowned American actor, comedian, and writer known for his roles in television and film. He rose to fame with his portrayal of Tim the Toolman Taylor on the sitcom Home Improvement, which aired from 1991 to 1999. Allen's comedic timing and charismatic performance made him a household name and earned him several awards, including a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Television Series, Musical or Comedy. Following the success of Home Improvement, Allen expanded his career into film, Starring in a string of successful movies, he voiced the character Buzz Lightyear in the beloved Toy Story franchise and played leading roles in films such as the Santa Claus series, Galaxy Quest, and Wild Hogs. His ability to transition from television to film has showcased his versatility as a performer and solidified his status as a major figure in entertainment. At 70 years old, Tim Allen remains active in the industry, continuing to entertain audiences with his unique brand of humor. He starred in the sitcom Last Man Standing, which ran from 2011 to 2021, further demonstrating his enduring appeal and comedic talent. Allen's contributions to comedy and family entertainment have left a lasting legacy, making him one of the most recognizable and beloved figures in contemporary television and film. William Catt William Catt, born on February 16, 1951, in Los Angeles, California, USA, is an accomplished American actor and writer best known for his role as Ralph Hinckley in the television series The Greatest American Hero. This early 1980s show, which featured Catt as an unlikely superhero, garnered a dedicated fan base and earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Television Series. Cat's portrayal of the bumbling yet earnest teacher-turned-superhero made him a beloved figure in popular culture. In addition to his iconic role in The Greatest American Hero, Cat has demonstrated his versatility as an actor through various film and television appearances. He starred in the cult horror film Carrie, 1976, as the sympathetic Tommy Ross, and appeared in other notable films such as Big Wednesday and House. Beyond acting, Cat has ventured into writing and directing, further showcasing his creative talents and expanding his contributions to the entertainment industry. At 73 years old, William Cat continues to impact the world of entertainment through his diverse body of work. His legacy is characterized by his ability to tackle a wide range of roles and his contributions behind the scenes as a writer and director. Cat's enduring popularity and versatility make him a respected figure in both television and film. George Clooney George Clooney, born on May 6, 1961 in Lexington, Kentucky, USA, is a prominent American actor, filmmaker, and philanthropist known for his charismatic presence and versatile performances. Clooney first gained widespread recognition with his role as Dr. Doug Ross on the medical drama series ER, which aired from 1994 to 1999. His performance on the show made him a household name and set the stage for a successful career in Hollywood. 
Clooney's film career has been marked by a series of critically acclaimed performances in movies such as Ocean's Eleven, Siriana, and Michael Clayton. He has won two Academy Awards, one for Best Supporting Actor in Siriana and another as a producer for Best Picture in Argo. In addition to his acting achievements, Clooney has made a significant impact as a filmmaker, directing and producing acclaimed films like Good Night and Good Luck and The Ides of March. At 62 years old, George Clooney continues to be a major force in the entertainment industry, balancing his work in front of and behind the camera. His philanthropic efforts, particularly in areas such as human rights and disaster relief, further underscore his commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Clooney's enduring legacy is marked by his exceptional talent, his contributions to cinema, and his dedication to humanitarian causes. Tom Bosley Tom Bosley, born on October 1, 1927, in Chicago, Illinois, USA, was an esteemed American actor known for his warm, fatherly presence on both stage and screen. He achieved widespread fame for his role as Howard Cunningham on the beloved television series Happy Days, which aired from 1974 to 1984. Bosley's portrayal of the affable and wise family patriarch endeared him to audiences and made him a household name. Before his success on Happy Days, Bosley had already made a significant impact on Broadway. He won a Tony Award for his role in the musical Fiorello in 1959, showcasing his versatility and talent as a performer. Throughout his career, Bosley appeared in numerous television shows and films, lending his distinctive voice to various animated series and commercials as well. His extensive body of work demonstrated his ability to connect with audiences across different mediums. Tom Bosley passed away on October 19, 2010, at the age of 83, due to complications from lung cancer. His legacy lives on through his memorable performances and his contributions to the entertainment industry. Bosley is fondly remembered by fans and colleagues alike for his talent, warmth, and enduring impact on television and theater. Tom Hanks Tom Hanks, born on July 9, 1956, in Concord, California, USA, is widely regarded as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Hanks first gained recognition for his comedic roles in the 1980s, starring in hits like Splash and Big, the latter earning him his first Academy Award nomination. However, it was his dramatic turn in Philadelphia, 1993, that showcased his depth as an actor and won him his first Academy Award for Best Actor. He solidified his status as a Hollywood icon with subsequent roles in Forrest Gump, Saving Private Ryan, and Cast Away. Hanks's versatility and talent have earned him numerous accolades, including multiple Academy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Beyond acting, he has made significant contributions as a filmmaker, directing and producing critically acclaimed films such as That Thing You Do and Larry Crown. His dedication to storytelling and his ability to bring complex characters to life have made him a beloved figure in the film industry. At 67 years old, Tom Hanks continues to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. His enduring legacy is marked by his exceptional body of work, his commitment to his craft, and his philanthropic efforts. Hanks remains a respected and influential figure in Hollywood, admired for his talent, humility, and contributions to cinema and society. David Soule David Soule, born on August 28, 1943, in Chicago, Illinois, USA, was an accomplished American actor and singer best known for his role as Detective Ken Hutch Hutchinson in the iconic television series Starsky and Hutch, which aired from 1975 to 1979. His portrayal of the charming and dedicated detective, alongside Paul Michael Glazer, made the show a massive hit and cemented Soul's status as a television star. The chemistry between the two lead actors and their portrayal of complex, relatable characters contributed significantly to the show's enduring popularity. In addition to his success on television, Soul also enjoyed a successful music career. 
He had several hit singles in the 1970s, including Don't Give Up On Us and Silver Lady, which topped the charts in the UK and other countries. His dual talents in acting and singing showcased his versatility and wide-ranging appeal. Throughout his career, Soul appeared in numerous other television shows and films, continuing to demonstrate his talent and dedication to his craft. David Soul passed away on January 4, 2024, at the age of 80. His legacy lives on through his memorable performances and his contributions to both television and music. Soul's impact on the entertainment industry is remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike, and his work continues to be celebrated for its lasting influence. Max Wright Max Wright, born on August 2, 1943 in Detroit, Michigan, USA, was a talented American actor best known for his role as Willie Tanner in the popular sitcom ALF, which aired from 1986 to 1990. Wright's portrayal of the harried father dealing with the antics of a wisecracking alien became a beloved part of 1980s television. His comedic timing and relatable portrayal of an average suburban dad struggling with extraordinary circumstances made him a key figure in the show's success. Before A. Elf, Wright had established himself as a versatile actor with a strong background in theater. He performed in numerous stage productions and earned critical acclaim for his work. His career also included various television and film roles, showcasing his ability to tackle both comedic and dramatic material. Despite facing personal challenges, Wright continued to pursue his passion for acting throughout his life. Max Wright passed away on June 26, 2019, at the age of 75, after a long battle with cancer. He is remembered for his contributions to the world of entertainment, particularly his iconic role in ALF. Wright's performances left a lasting impression on audiences, and his work continues to be appreciated for its warmth, humor, and authenticity. Scott Bakula Scott Bakula, born on October 9, 1954, in St. Louis, Missouri, USA, is a distinguished American actor and singer best known for his roles in the television series Quantum Leap and NCIS New Orleans. Bakula gained widespread recognition and acclaim for his portrayal of Dr. Sam Beckett in Quantum Leap, which aired from 1989 to 1993. His performance as the time-traveling scientist earned him a Golden Globe Award and multiple Emmy nominations, solidifying his status as a beloved figure in science fiction television. Following the success of Quantum Leap, Bakula continued to demonstrate his versatility as an actor through various roles in both television and film. He starred as Captain Jonathan Archer in Star Trek Enterprise from 2001 to 2005 further cementing his place in sci-fi lore. Additionally, his role as Special Agent Dwayne Pride in NCIS New Orleans showcased his ability to lead a procedural drama with charisma and depth, making the show a fan favorite. At 69 years old, Scott Bakula remains a prominent and respected figure in the entertainment industry. His enduring legacy is marked by his ability to bring complex and compelling characters to life, his contributions to iconic television series, and his dedication to his craft. Bakula continues to inspire and entertain audiences with his talent and passion for storytelling. Sherman Hemsley Sherman Hemsley, born on February 1, 1938 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, was a celebrated American actor best known for his role as George Jefferson in the television sitcoms all in the Family, and its spin-off, The Jeffersons. Hemsley's portrayal of the outspoken and ambitious George Jefferson made him an iconic figure in television history. The Jeffersons, which aired from 1975 to 1985, showcased Hemsley's comedic talent and earned him widespread acclaim and multiple award nominations. In addition to his success with The Jeffersons, Hemsley also starred in the sitcom Amen, where he played Deacon Ernest Fry from 1986 to 1991, 
His ability to infuse his characters with humor and humanity made him a beloved actor across multiple generations. Hemsley's work extended to voice acting as well, with notable contributions to animated series and specials. Sherman Hemsley passed away on July 24, 2012, at the age of 74 due to complications from lung cancer. His legacy lives on through his groundbreaking roles and his impact on television comedy. Hemsley is fondly remembered for his distinctive voice, his comedic brilliance, and his ability to break barriers in the entertainment industry. His contributions to television continue to be celebrated and appreciated by fans and colleagues alike. Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze, born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas, USA, was a highly acclaimed American actor, dancer, and singer known for his charismatic performances in both film and television. Swayze first gained widespread recognition for his role as Johnny Castle in the iconic film Dirty Dancing, 1987, where his impressive dancing skills and on-screen charisma made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. This role, along with the film's unforgettable soundtrack, cemented Swayze's status as a cultural icon. Following the success of Dirty Dancing, Swayze continued to showcase his versatility with a string of notable performances. He starred in the romantic fantasy film Ghost, 1990, which earned him a Golden Globe nomination and further solidified his reputation as a leading man. Other memorable roles include Roadhouse, Point Break, and To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, demonstrating his ability to excel in a variety of genres from action to comedy. Patrick Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57, after a courageous battle with pancreatic cancer. His legacy lives on through his memorable performances and his impact on popular culture. Swayze is fondly remembered for his talent, dedication, and the warmth he brought to his roles, leaving a lasting impression on fans and the entertainment industry alike. John Forsyth John Forsyth, born on January 29, 1918, in Pensgrove, New Jersey, USA, was a distinguished American actor known for his suave demeanor and distinctive voice, particularly remembered for his roles in classic television series. Forsyth first rose to prominence with his role as Bentley Gregg in the sitcom Bachelor Father, which aired from 1957 to 1962. His charming portrayal of a single father raising his niece captivated audiences and established him as a leading actor on television. Forsyth's career reached new heights with his roles in Dynasty and as the voice of Charlie in Charlie's Angels. As Blake Carrington, the powerful and sophisticated oil tycoon in Dynasty, 1981-1989, Forsyth became an iconic figure of 1980s primetime television. His work on Charlie's Angels, 1976-1981, as the unseen boss, Charlie Townsend, showcased his distinctive voice and added to his legacy as a beloved television personality. John Forsyth passed away on April 1, 2010, at the age of 92, due to complications from pneumonia. His enduring legacy is characterized by his elegant performances, his contributions to some of television's most memorable series, and his remarkable ability to captivate audiences with both his presence and voice. Forsyth's impact on the entertainment industry continues to be celebrated, and his work remains a benchmark for excellence in television acting. Emilio Estevez Emilio Estevez, born on May 12, 1962 in New York City, New York, USA, is a prominent American actor, director, and writer who gained fame as a key member of the Brat Pack in the 1980s. Estevez first rose to prominence with his roles in iconic films such as The Breakfast Club and St. Elmo's Fire, where he portrayed complex and relatable teenage characters. His work in these films helped define a generation and cemented his status as a significant figure in 1980s cinema. In addition to his early acting success, Estevez has also made a notable impact as a director and writer. He directed and starred in the critically acclaimed film Bobby, 
2006, which explores the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy. Estevez has continued to showcase his versatility both in front of and behind the camera, with other directing credits including The Way, 2010, in which he starred alongside his father, Martin Sheen. His work reflects a deep commitment to storytelling and a passion for meaningful projects. At 62 years old, Emilio Estevez remains an influential presence in the entertainment industry. His enduring legacy is characterized by his contributions to film as both an actor and a director, as well as his ability to evolve creatively over the decades. Estevez continues to inspire with his dedication to his craft and his impactful body of work. Michael J. Fox Michael J. Fox, born on June 9, 1961 in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, is a beloved American-Canadian actor and activist, known for his charismatic performances and his courageous battle with Parkinson's disease. Fox gained international fame for his role as Marty McFly in the Back to the Future trilogy, which became one of the most iconic film series of the 1980s. His portrayal of the time-traveling teenager remains a defining role in his career and a cherished part of pop culture. Fox also achieved significant success on television with his role as Alex P. Keaton on the sitcom Family Ties, 1982-1989, for which he won three Primetime Emmy Awards. He later starred in the political comedy series Spin City, earning another Emmy and further demonstrating his talent for both comedic and dramatic roles. In addition to his acting career, Fox has become a prominent advocate for Parkinson's disease research through the Michael J. Fox Foundation, raising millions of dollars and increasing awareness for the cause. At 63 years old, Michael J. Fox continues to inspire both on and off the screen. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is matched by his dedication to philanthropy and his resilience in the face of personal challenges. Fox's legacy is marked by his iconic roles, his advocacy work, and his unwavering spirit, making him a respected and admired figure worldwide. Matthew Broderick Matthew Broderick, born on March 21, 1962 in New York City, New York, USA, is a distinguished American actor known for his work in film, theater, and television. He first gained widespread acclaim for his role as the charming and mischievous high schooler in the classic comedy Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986. Broderick's performance in this iconic film endeared him to audiences and established him as a leading actor in Hollywood during the 1980s. In addition to his film career, Broderick has achieved significant success on Broadway. He won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play for his role in Brighton Beach Memoirs, 1983, and later starred in the smash hit musical The Producers, earning another Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical. His versatility and talent have allowed him to excel in both comedic and dramatic roles, making him a respected figure in the theater community as well. At 62 years old, Matthew Broderick continues to be a prominent presence in the entertainment industry. His enduring legacy is characterized by his memorable performances on both screen and stage, his dedication to his craft, and his ability to captivate audiences with his charm and talent. Broderick's contributions to film and theater remain influential, and he continues to inspire new generations of performers. Kevin Bacon Kevin Bacon, born on July 8, 1958 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, is a renowned American actor and musician whose career has spanned over four decades. He first gained significant attention with his role in the 1984 dance film Footloose, where his portrayal of the rebellious teenager Wren McCormick became an enduring cultural touchstone. Bacon's performance in Footloose showcased his dynamic talent and established him as a major star in Hollywood. Bacon's filmography is diverse, with roles in critically acclaimed films such as A Few Good Men, Apollo 13, and Mystic River. 
His ability to seamlessly transition between genres, from drama to thriller to comedy, has earned him widespread respect and admiration in the industry. In addition to his acting career, Bacon is also known for his musical pursuits, performing with his brother Michael as part of the band The Bacon Brothers. At 66 years old, Kevin Bacon remains a versatile and influential figure in the entertainment world. His legacy is marked by his extensive body of work, his adaptability as an actor, and his contributions to both film and music. Bacon continues to engage audiences with his performances and his passion for the arts, solidifying his status as a multi-talented and enduring presence in Hollywood. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.